Welcome back. It's the day before the exams, which means we're going around doing some study sessions. I need to check in on some books as well to increase Reed's knowledge ahead of the exams. But we're here on the rooftop in the lovely rain. I do enjoy the sound of the rain on the umbrella. It's just... It's just rather lovely. But Beryl's up here. What's she doing up here? Hmm, <laughs> I love the rain. Let me let you in on a little secret. I don't even need to study thanks to a special little trick of mine. <laughs> Page 44 will be on our Opal Science exam. This is certain. This is fate. Hmm. You're just making things up now. What if she does have some sort of special powers? And it couldn't hurt to study that page just in case. That's... Hmm. This is probably going to connect to like, what I'm going to talk about in terms of theories discussion when we get to the old schoolhouse and do the, the theory part. Because I want to talk about something that I'm essentially going to refer to as a latent image. And I'm, I, I'll, I'll explain what I mean by that when we get to the theory bit, but... For now, you'll have to wait. <laughs> Everything on page 44 will be on the Orbital Science test. How do I know? <laughs> A girl has to have her secrets. How do you know? It strains credulity to imagine that anyone would forget their umbrella during such an extended period of rain. Master Vincent has always been one to defy expectations, however. Might I escort you home, mademoiselle? We can stroll along, safely tucked under the same umbrella as the raindrops perform their emotional, percussive concert. <laughs> I'm afraid I'm going to have to decline your clearly selfless offer, because I'll be studying for our midterms right here. Ah, as curt as always, I see. But I must ask, mademoiselle, would it not break your heart to see me sharing an umbrella with another fine lady? My heart would be fine, in fact. Uh, it'd, be, it'd feel better if you did. Oh dear. Properly struck down. I, I might think about it if you manage to score better than me on those midterms. <laughs> you always seem to be just below me. Our midterms are really closing in. I'm more afraid of the exam period being over than the exams themselves. When it's all over, I have to start going to the swimming club practice again. Never mind that. Uh, just ignore me, please. I'm planning on studying in the cafe in town today. Hopefully that'll keep my mind on the midterms and off everything else. Question is, can I actually... Let's go check, actually. Can I leave and go into town and speak down there? Seems like everyone's staying here to study for their exams. It's probably a good idea. Right, there we go. I should probably be making my way home soon, too. But first, I have a report to make to Principal Van Dyke. Exams begin tomorrow. I wish you all the very best of luck. This will be the first year's very first midterm experience. Happy studying, everyone. And these will be your very first midterms, won't they? <laughs> have to admit, I'm a little nervous too. This is the first time I've come up with questions for them. You should be fine as long as you study up on everything we've covered in class. Don't be afraid to ask questions either. Ask. There'll be a couple of art history things I need cleared up, actually. Uh... Oh my, a student is pretty relying on me for help. What a pleasant surprise. Art evolved in very complex ways during the Middle Ages, you see. Cool. Feel free to pop in if you have any other questions. I'll do everything I can to help you resolve whatever issue you may have. Such is my duty as an instructor, after all. Indeed. I know this is the first examination period for your first years, but try not to let it get to you. Your studies here are merely meant to shape your future and provide you with unforeseen possibilities. Oh dear. No pressure. As tough as the exams might seem, just put your all into them, and everything should work out in the end. You probably know this already, but the faculty lounge is off limits while exams are going on. If you want to see a teacher, you got to knock on the door and ask. Uh, you got something you want to ask me? I've actually got an Orbital Science question to ask you. Figure, show me what's got you stumped. I'll get you up to speed. That it? Don't put too much work into the exams if you don't feel like it. 
As long as you don't give the vice principal another excuse to scream at me, I don't care how well you do. First years may not be used to them, but midterms are important examinations that determine your academic future. It tests not only your general attitude towards your lessons, but the effort you put in before and after said lessons too. In other words, they exist for you to display just what you've learned ever since you enrolled here. Stay attentive and give them your all. Yes, sir. Midterms finally begin tomorrow. Stay attentive and give them your all. Is there really any need to study for those tests? Should be easy enough to get a decent grade without the panic scramble to study. It's quite the claim. I go to the classes. I shouldn't be too hard to get a decent grade. So instead of wasting my time cramming, I'm going to focus on my art. These sweets are delicious, Nicholas. It's always helpful to eat something sweet while you study. So I thought I should make my own. Don't eat too many. Though, you'll end up too energized to concentrate. Got it. <laughs> Nothing tops having a classmate you can count on. At times like these, there's no better way to get your brain going than eating something sweet. That said, I might want to start studying soon. Yeah, maybe. I didn't know it was possible, but Nicholas has somehow gotten even better at cooking. Maybe I should ask him to cook something I can share with a meal. Uh, Alan, are you sure you don't want to study with Bridget? I mean, she definitely went out of her way to ask you and everything. I don't need any uh, help. Uh, let's hurry up and get back to the dorm so we don't get soaked. Sure. I'm not asking Bridget for help. I can study for midterms on my own just fine, thanks. Dude, just accept the offer, come on. What's with Alan? That Bridget girl seemed pretty close to him for a noble. Everyone's so absorbed in studying for their midterms. I don't think anyone would call my grades amazing, so maybe I should start doing the same. My parents' threats are to be believed. The fate of my allowance depends on it. Oh dear. It's just about time for midterms. I'd rather not even think about them. I guess I should get studying. You might not have noticed, but I'm an old science whiz. My dad's a Ryanford employee, and he always used to help me study. Gotta say, I'm feeling pretty good about these exams. Can't wait to get a perfect score and surprise Uncle Makarov. Help you study. Uh, sorry, I can't teach to save my life. <laughs> they might as well just hand me my perfect score already. Can't wait to see the look on Uncle Makarov's face when he sees how well I've done. The music room is actually a great place to study during the test period. It's so quiet. I invited Alan along to study with me, but he turned me down. Maybe he really is trying to avoid me. I just don't understand why he's being like this. We used to get along so well at Sunday school. I wonder if something happened. Studying for exams? Huh, <laughs> surely you jest. Excellent grades come naturally to me. There's no need for something as common as studying. That's just the nature of nobility, after all. You have gifts that mere commoners cannot fathom. But you've got pencil marks all over your hands. Your imagination is playing tricks on you. If you let it lead you any further. You might imply that I've been studying in secret just to show Elisa up. I mean, yeah. Hm, I have no need to study. These marks on my hands are absolutely not the result of a rigorous study regimen. I guess you... Really the kind of person who puts 110% into everything she does. What, Colette? Right, so let's go around and get all these books that are around that can increase our knowledge. A book entitled... Political Economics of Primus. It's primly on the shelf. Primly. Given the subject matter, this book seems really accessible. I can almost reach it. This would probably make for a good refresher. A book entitled Military Science, a primer, sits upon the bench like a courageous commander. Flip. This is one well written book. The illustrations really bring things to life, too. Wait a second, this probably belongs to someone. Nobody would leave a book like this behind, so I'm sure they'll be back soon. I'll just leave this here. A book entitled The Fancier's Guide to Eleborian Opera and Paintings, since Pompous lay upon the shelf. Why would one book cover such different topics? Still, it'll probably cover some of the stuff on our exams. Wouldn't hurt to give it a read. 
A book entitled Erebonian History in Pictures is on the shelf. What is this? It's more like a comic book than a traditional textbook. Doesn't seem historically accurate, though. Can't hurt to give it a read. Oh, are the two of you studying military science? Looks like you guys are tearing through things, too. <laughs> More or less. You caught us just as we reached the section on military symbols. Care to join us? Yes. Uh, this will consume a study point, and afterward, the time of day will advance to evening, and the main story will proceed. Sure, but uh, couldn't hurt. I didn't know a thing about military science until we entered the academy, so I'm not feeling terribly confident. It's not as though most schools teach military minutiae alongside literature and maths. We're all in the same boat here. Either way, we'd be happy to have another person to paddle. Have a seat. And then let's begin. Map marking symbols are used to represent an assortment of different units and formations. This is the symbol for infantry. Envelope. Reen, try to draw the symbol for headquarters from memory. Gotcha, I'm pretty sure it's this. It's a cardboard box. Guys, I think you can draw the symbol for an armored troop. Sure, this should be it. A, a, a box of tissues. Now I have a tough one for you. What does this symbol mean? Uh, tennis court. Monkey bars. Um, hmm. That's engineer, right? Because it's an E. You got it. Phew. So much to memorize for this class. And the fact that we're going in blind makes it even worse. These seem like they're all basics, too. Given that not all of us will end up involved with the military, it does seem a little excessive. But bear in mind that our military science class is to teach us how to deal with harsh situations effectively. In that sense, there's plenty to learn even if we never find ourselves on a battlefield. That's probably why it's mandatory. If it could save our lives, we owe it to ourselves to do well. <laughs> Agreed. Indubitably. Useless. Gaius and Reen stayed together for a while longer, continuing to test each other on military science. Bing bong. Oh, it's already time to head home. Didn't even realize because of the rain. Guess I should get ready to head back to the dorms. Excuse me. I do apologize for stopping you on a rainy day like this. Oh no, it is completely fine. I do enjoy your umbrella. It is quite delightful. Do you know if this is the building in which I might find the principal's office? Oh, yeah. You're in the right place. His office is in the east wing, first floor. This music is lovely. The receptionist might have gone home already, but I can show you the way if you'd like. <laughs> Thank you for your kindness. But I couldn't possibly trouble you more than I have already. I'll be able to find the way, I'm sure. Well then, if you'll excuse me, Master Reen. It's strange that the umbrellas don't fold up, they shrink. Hmm. Wait a minute. How does she know who I am? Indeed. Reen? Uh, hey there, Elisa. Heading back to the dorm? Yep. I'm and the others are staying a little longer to cram a little more. But I figured I'm not going to learn much more today, so I might as well call it a night and start prepping for tomorrow. Right, right. Um, well, you're going my way, so what do you say we head back together? Sure, okay. 
A lovely walk in the rain. Hey, it's not often the two of us get to walk back to the dorms together, is it? <laughs> well... Eh, at least I got something good out of this downpour. Is there even a filter between your brain and your mouth? Nah, no need for that between friends. But you're in good company. My sisters asked me that before too. <sighs> she must be a saint to have put up with you all these years. <laughs> anyway, how do you feel? All prepped and ready for our exams? Not sure. I gave it the best I've got. Still, I've got that nagging feeling I could have hit the books a little harder. <laughs> I wish I was as smart as you. Back when we took the entrance exam, only Emma and Machias scored higher than you, right? Eustace came in a little higher than me, too. Back home, I usually came in near the top in exams. I guess that goes to show that Erebonia has no shortage of smart people. No doubt about that. Bookworms pour in here from all corners of the Empire. You said you're from Ruhr, right? Coming out on top in a city that size is still pretty impressive. I suppose, though that was just at the Sunday school level. Um, uh, aren't you curious about, you know, my family and stuff? Why would we be? Are they important? You mean the mysterious Alisa R, agent of national intrigue? Well, yeah, of course I am. But you probably have good reasons for keeping it under wraps, so I don't want to pry. I mean, what's it going to be? Like you're a magical girl or something? Like that's going to happen. It's not that major or anything, especially compared to what you and Fee have told us about yourselves. I've never really thought my family circumstances were a big deal, though Fee's past sure came as a surprise. I wonder now, when I look at her, what her life in a Jaeger Corps must have been like. It seems like Instructor Sarah knows more about her past than we do. I can't say, didn't we just walk past the dorms, but they stopped? Back at the entrance ceremony, I got the impression they'd met before. Same. Oh, speaking of weird meetings, I ran into someone kind of strange earlier. Oh? Yeah, I was talking to her just before you called to me. Reen told Elisa about the woman in the maid uniform. A maid who knew your name? This isn't the part where it turns out she knows you because you've tried to hit on her in town before, is it? Yeah, but I kind of regret saying this. <laughs> As if an upstanding guy like me could pull off the Casanova act. She seemed a couple years older than us. Maybe 20 or so? A maid in her early 20s. Hmm? Something wrong? No, no, just thinking. Mm-hmm. There's no way it could really have been her. Mother keeps her far too busy to find the time to come here. Uh... Ahem! Uh, anyway, maybe the uh, upper-class dorm has a new hire starting out or something? Do you feel like the delivery on that ahem was wrong? It's like, it almost sounded like she was disgruntled at Reen interrupting her. But it feels like it should have been like a... <clears throat> oh, yes, hmm, <clears throat> yes. I saw like, oh, I, I, I've just got a cough, don't mind me. Though that wouldn't explain how she knew your name. Maybe you're just more popular than you let on. <laughs> if only. Why would you want... Why, why would you want that? Name of the game, everyone. I mean... Does Reen have aspirations to be known far and wide across Erebonia? Careful what you wish for, mate. The next day. The first of four grueling days of midterm exams begin. Erebonian history question. The Middle Ages War of the Lions was brought to an end by Emperor Dracos. When did the war end? Well, we know it was a July, because remember what Emma said about it being the next month, and that's an easy way to remember. And this should be the right answer. I mean, that light bulb above my head. Sorry, orbital light above my head clearly gave it away.
Art question. Mr. A wants to draw a rough, coloured watercolour image. Which of the following styles would be most appropriate? Well, to me, Mr. A seems a bit sketch. This should be the right answer, because he seems suspicious. It's a new day, everyone. Midterms, day two. Military science question. Figure one depicts a military formation. What type of unit is currently advancing? Ah, well, yes, of course. It would obviously be the tissue box. Should be the right answer. It's a new day, everyone. Midterms day three. Orbital science question. The following statements about orbits all purport to be true. Which one is not? It's that one, because you need you, you, you need quartz. Like anybody here could use magic without quartz. Tch. This should be the right answer, because all of us here use our Arcus, so... Political economics question. Of the following laws enacted last year, which came into force first? In Heimdall, not a place with cars. You know, it's that simple. And this should be the right answer. Yeah, it's, a, it's the place for the cars. It's a new day, everyone. Midterms, final day. Combat studies question. Emergency CPR is divided into roughly four stages. A. Check if the person is breathing. B. Check if the person is conscious. C. Perform chest compressions and rescue breaths. D. Call for help in a loud voice. Well, we do know that D was second on the list. I remember Crow talking about that specifically. It's like so, and D's only second in one of them, so B, D, A, C. This should be the right answer. It's a weird bell. Congratulations on making it through four days of exams. And what do you know? Looks like the rain ended right along with them. Clearly this is the goddess's way of rewarding you all for your hard work. I don't think that reasoning would stand up to scrutiny. Phew, I'm totally spent. It's over. <laughs> You've worked really hard, Fee. Phew. Anyway, today's a free day, so take the chance to unwind and blow off all that pent-up exam stress. I'll post the results next Wednesday, so take it easy until then. But don't relax too much, because you got your next practical exam next Wednesday afternoon too. Uh, with all the intensive studying, I'd completely forgotten about that. We could stand to be a little more considerate with the timing of your announcement. So next Wednesday is when we'll know where we're going for our next field study. Yep, you'll be shipping out that weekend for another exotic trip to a faraway land full of beautiful scenery. Anyway, make the most of tomorrow, everyone. You've earned at least one day off. Hmm. Guess I should probably attend club practice once in a while. Oh, and one more thing. I've got some business to take care of out of town after we're all done here. I won't be back until tomorrow night, so don't, like, uh, burn down the dorm while I'm gone or anything. Please. I'm serious, guys. Don't do it. Guys. Everyone's out and about, aren't they? Hmm? You know, it's this. I'd say it almost feels like the music's out of place in a Trails game, but feels intentional in that regard. That sort of sense of like, hey, it's just a normal school day, isn't it? It's all great, it's all lovely, it's it's school time here. 
Ah, lovely. Oh, now that the exams are over, I feel free as a bird. But I very much know what series we're playing at this point. It's, it's a trick. And they'll keep on soaring, at least until the results come back. <laughs> I sympathize, but personally, I've got a good feeling about these. How about you, Emma? How do you think you did? Well... Probably better than you. I don't think I did too badly, all things considered. Mm. Just... just stop before you embarrass yourself. <laughs> I like Yusuf's caught himself. We'll just have to wait and see what next week's results look like. Anyway, what do you think that was all about with Instructor Sarah? Oh, you mean that whole thing about going out of town to meet someone? Going out of town? Won't be back until tomorrow night? It's almost as if... Bow chicka wow wow. She's going to meet her secret lover? Impossible. The Empire hasn't yet turned out a man desperate enough to woo that alcoholic typhoon. You have a point. I can't deny she's got the looks to snare a man, but with that personality and that lifestyle... <laughs> you guys are terrible. Totally agreed, though. <laughs> no, it's like, I can't believe you said this. I agree. Ouch. Not surprised to hear that from you, though, Reen. She always seems to dump the most work on you. You're her favorite. Will you be helping the student council again tomorrow? That's the plan. Heck, I'm almost looking forward to being the student council's errand boy after holding up studying for so long. Perhaps so. Oh, please let us know if you plan on exploring the old schoolhouse. Yeah, I'd be glad to lend a hand this time. Thanks. Better watch out, though. I might take you up on that offer. Ooh, looks like we're all up for a little exploration this time. Come to think of it, where did Gaius run off to? He mentioned the principal wanted to have a word with him. You think he went there? Oh, yeah. Wonder what that was about. I hope he hasn't gotten into trouble. I mean, I doubt he would. I have no idea. He and Laura left early, too. I was kind of hoping we could all walk back to the dorm together for once. That sounds nice. Hmm. Hmm? Hey, so this might just be my imagination, but do those two seem kind of awkward around each other to anyone else? R really? So you think so, too. It seems like it started around the beginning of the month. I wonder if something happened then. It's like they've been avoiding each other ever since. Hmm. You say that, but I did not take either as the type to dwell on petty issues or misunderstandings. Neither did I. We've been trying to suss out what the problem between them is, but so far, no luck. I wonder if that's what that was all about. Did you see something, Machius? What happened? Well, do you remember the day we gave our group reports on what happened during last month's field study? We gave a truthful account, including the part where Fee used an explosive to blast open the door to my cell. Yeah? That's when we found out that Fee used to be in a Jaeger Corps. That really threw me for a loop, but what does that have to do with Laura? Well, when that came up, I couldn't help but notice Laura had a rather unpleasant expression. It flashed across her face for only a moment, though, so I wondered if I had just imagined it. Interesting. But even if we assume that's true, what reason would she have to be upset? I can hardly hazard a guess. We all have certain things we'd rather keep to ourselves. We even have a member of this very class who remains tight-lipped about her own family, after all. Do you really have to drag me into this? My apologies. I meant no offense. I do have my suspicions as to your lineage, however. Really? Ugh, you. Now, now, getting angry won't accomplish anything. Don't worry. We're not gonna twist your arm into telling us. When you're ready to talk about it, we'll be ready to listen. Uh, it's not like I'm trying to make a big deal out of it or anything. It's just, 
If everyone knew, it'd make things awkward between us, and I don't want that. Welcome back, my lady. <laughs> huh? What? Sharon? It's so delightful to see you again. Oh, hey. It's that maid I ran into the other day. You know her? What are you doing here? She didn't. Mother didn't... Mother did. <laughs> but of course, I was sent here at the behest of the chairman herself. Starting today, I will be assuming the position of caretaker for Class 7's dormitory. Sharon Kruger. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance, everyone. My name is Sharon Kruger. I am a servant in the employ of the Reinford household, Lady Elisa's family. I will do all I can to be of service to you, so please keep me informed of anything you might need. Chapter 3 Beyond the Railways It's a new day, everyone. It's a free day. Doesn't seem to be many people out. Simply spectacular. Just how many different types of food are there here? This looks... more than edible. I believe this is what they call an imperial breakfast? That's right, Emma. It's a traditional Erebonian style of breakfast. I must apologize. It's taken me some time to familiarize myself with this kitchen, so my cooking has been a bit lackluster. Come now, Sharon. Your skill is something to be praised. This is far more colorful and varied than the breakfast served in my own home. I would compare this spread favorably with the breakfast served in the Duke's household. <laughs> I'm honored that you think so. I've also brewed both tea and coffee if anyone would like some. I mean, one of those is palatable. I get the feeling Elisa is less than impressed with the meal. Mm, it's not really the meal that's the issue. It sounds like they had a big argument yesterday. Not a chance! I thought I'd finally, finally gotten away from her. I'm not going to let her have her way this time. My lady, please. You have no idea. I truly don't believe the chairman sent me to keep an eye on you like that. She simply sent me so that her beloved daughter might have fewer inconveniences in her daily life. I can take perfectly good care of myself, thank you very much! Oh, fine! I'll take this up with her myself then. Is she in the office at corporate today, or is she out on inspection or something? I believe she'll be dining with the Ministry of Railways president in the capital today. After that, she'll be continuing her inspection tour, so she won't be back in Ruhr for another five days. Does she ever slow down? I'm surprised she doesn't burn through a pair of shoes a week. Anyway, I'm not going to take this line down. She stuck her nose into things one too many times. I can't believe that R actually stood for Elisa Reinford. And from the sound of it, her mother's the company chairman too. Yeah, I... I wasn't expecting that Elisa's mom is basically in charge of the continent's biggest industrial company. Her family's probably got more money than most of the aristocracy. I can see why she'd want to keep her family under wraps, what with all the nobles here. Anyway, I object to everything about this. Considering how busy Mother is, I'm sure she needs your assistance far more than I do. <laughs> I knew it. You're really concerned about her, aren't you? The way you two care so much for each other deep down is one of the reasons I'm so proud to serve you. 
Th that's preposterous. Oh, my lady, I almost forgot to mention that I made plenty of your favorite apricot jam. Apricot? Is an apricot? Would you like me to spread some on your toast? Ooh, really? I mean, stop treating me like a child. I mean, I'm there with Elisa. I very much enjoy apricot. Though, yes, I would like some jam. It's almost heartwarming to watch. <laughs> Looks like Sharon's got her number. Indeed. After beginning the day with Sharon's peerless breakfast, the members of Class 7 left to go about their daily routine. Meanwhile, Reen went to check the task the student council had given him for the day. At this moment, I would like the members of Class 7 to commit themselves to their noble academic pursuits. I know, studious as you are, I can expect that anyway. So on top of that, I'd like you to continue your exploration of the old schoolhouse and report your findings to me. Born to be Orbal. We're testing the Orbal bike's capabilities on a highway near Trista. If you're curious, come talk to us in the engineering building. The secret admirer. I'm in need of aid. Some fair maiden has sent me several messages proclaiming her love for me. And who could blame her? I simply must know who she is. So I would like some kind soul to help find her and bring her to me. More details behind the storage building. Oh dear, Vincent. Hey, a request from George and Angelica. It's about the Opal bike, too. What they need help with. Looks like I'll have to swing by the engineering club before I head to the old schoolhouse. Oh, this is the first sun I've seen in days. So I might as well make the most of it. Alright, let's do this. In the next part. Because we're ending this part here, obviously. In the next part, we'll... See, oh, I mean, I've just looked at it. We got seven. Seven. Oh, that was close. That, that, that could be, um... Let's just say if I scroll down. Yeah. <laughs> let's put it like that. So, yeah, we got seven here. Yeah. Got one with Tower over there, and she's not in the student union building. So, obviously, we'll start the next part with the bonding scenes, then the quests, and then we'll get the rounds done before we head to the old schoolhouse. That's the plans. You get the idea. You, you know how this works at this point, surely. We'll see you in the next part. Ta-ta for now! What was that?